up YouTube? It's your boy H Trade Double O. Welcome back to the channel for another amazing video. Uh, as you guys can see from the title, the video um, it's exactly what it is. My Flash Season Three predictions. Now, if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you notice I did one for Season Two, but before the season had even came out. And um, as I go back and looked at a lot of my predictions, they were like, some of them were kind of right. So I was like, well, you know, I'm also doing for Season Three as well. Just to let you guys know, these are my predictions. None of this stuff is confirmed or anything this is just what i think or i feel how the show is going to go in the direction so it's completely all uh just my opinion so i just want to get into my predictions now for this i want to try to keep all of my predictions based in for flash and not so much as with Arrow or Lens of Tomorrow. Uh, some stuff I might kind of seem to spill off a little bit over into those areas, but it's because it kind of relates directly to the show, such as um, how I'm gonna, I am gonna I want to talk about Black Canary, which that's mainly for Arrow, but, you know, I'm going to try to keep everything, like I said, toward Flash. My first prediction for Season 3 is that I don't think um, Flashpoint is going to last as long as everybody wants it to or thinks that it will. The reason why I say that is, one, all the shows, Supergirl, Flash, Lens of Tomorrow, and Arrow, they're all connected. With Flashpoint, you know, the event, uh, if you guys are not familiar with the comic or the animated movie or whatnot, Flashpoint is pretty much with Flash from Back in Time, save his mom, and altered the entire timeline um, from what it originally was. Now, of course, my comic was a whole lot different than the show's going to be, but uh, my main point I want to get at is for, for them to do Flashpoint, they would have to completely alter all the other shows, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, as well as Arrow. Now, some of you guys have already, or you guys, if you guys, you know, keep up with things, you've already seen the trailer for the um, season premiere of the other shows, and you see that not much in timeline has actually changed from, they kind of just pick up somewhat from the last seasons of each show so that being said um and then not also with flash being the first show out of all of them to air even though technically supergirl airs first because it's on a monday and flash on a tuesday flash airs first before all the other shows meaning most likely flashpoint is probably gonna last just that one episode now like i said that hasn't been completely confirmed that i know of that's just my prediction another reason why i don't think it's gonna last that long is if you guys watch whenever a new, a new show is ready to come out and you watch the um, trailer or a new season is ready to come out and you watch the trailer for the season, one thing I always show that all these have in common is the trailer is literally the entire first episode. Whenever Flash season one got ready to air, the trailer you saw was the pilot episode. And then right before season two aired, the trailer was the first episode of season two. So from that knowledge, we, from what you can kind of guess is what you've seen for the season three trailer of Flash is the first episode and um another thing that kind of gives me hint or clues that it won't last that long is for those that haven't followed the comic after you know in the during the events of flashpoint flash eventually starts to lose his memory from his original timeline and so i can replace with a new timeline if my prediction is right about the season three trailer being the first episode he's gonna start losing his memory in the in the first episode of season three meaning for him to fix everything back he'd have to do it either within the time frame of episode one or possibly episode two. So like I said, as far as that, I don't think it's going to last that long. It would be great for it to last a bit longer, but with them having to rewrite every single show and all that, not, not rewrite, it would have to rework every single show. And like I said, from the trailers I've already seen, I don't see anything too different from the previous seasons. So I don't think it's going to last that long. Now this next point, it kind of does come from um, an interview with uh, some of the three, I, I want to say, key players in Flash. We obviously know that Flashpoint isn't going to stay and that their timeline is going to eventually go back to normal timeline or whatnot, or what would be normal timeline, I guess. Um, one of the things they said, which I thought was kind of important or from, uh, interesting, was when they do go back and change things, timeline's not going to be 100% back the way it was, and some stuff is going to stay, some stuff is going to go. We've also seen this evidence of this when Flash in the timeline for a flashpoint and then went back to change it back, we got the new 52. Uh, that's a whole other topic for like a whole other video, but based, you know, just a, a quick rundown, new 52, uh, it was like, it was the same timeline as before, but a lot of stuff was kind of different. Whenever he does change timeline back, there are going to be some stuff that's going to say something that's going to be different. Now, what stuff is going to be changed is going to be different. That something that hasn't been necessarily really released or whatnot, 
or you know that's and this up for more, more speculations and some of my speculations on that is I feel like I want to say Wally West will still have his powers it would be great to see him still have his powers I don't know if that's going to be something they want to do or not but you know who knows and I guess that kind of wraps up as far as my the Flashpoint speculation for Flash season 3 so something I kind of mentioned earlier was about Black Canary um, for those that watch Arrow as well as Flash and all other shows you saw where Black Canary or um or Miss Lance or whatever, that she actually died in Arrow, and then um, a version of her from Earth 2 had came and that's the one that's currently on Flash, who in Earth 1, she's just in the pipeline. But the one thing that I find interesting about that, and basically what I might get my point was her, is what key parts is she going to have on the show? Because for those that don't read comics, the Black Canary that, that most people know about in Justice League or in the comics or whatnot doesn't actually come from Earth 1. She comes from Earth 2. And there's like multiple versions of her story. One version when she's from switching from Earth 2 to Earth 1 is what gave her her abilities to um, have a sonic scream. There's some others where she had the ability and then just came over to Earth uh, 1 or blah, blah, blah. So, so as far as that, what key part is she going to have in Fly? So that's, that's something that I would like to see how that could play out. I would like to see if she would become kind of more of a involved character in this season for either Flash or Arrow, but that's something we'll have to see. And once again, that's my speculation. Uh, another speculation is as far as uh, characters like Killer Frost. The Killer Frost from Earth 2 was killed, I do believe, by Zoom. Um, I still kind of should see what would happen if, like I said, um, what they said, stuff basically isn't going to be the same once, you know, everything goes back to normal. So, which I did say this in my speculation for season two was I was saying, you know, I don't know how they were going to bring about uh, uh, Dr. Snow becoming Killer Frost because we already knew that Killer Frost was going to be in season two. I was, you know, very unsure how they're going to do that. And, you know, one thing that's really flash is, you know, with them all, you know, with changing timeline, you can change the course of events, you could change, it could also change people and relationships and whatnot, so could, you know, changing the time back, going back from new, uh, from Flashpoint, could that affect Dr. Snow and make her less of a good person she is and, you know, possibly push her still becoming, eventually becoming Killer Frost, or, you know, have we seen the other Killer Frost? Like, you know, that's, that's, that's I don't know, that's, that's something I'm kind of speculating throwing around with, it. you know, I would like to see Killer Frost return, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but that would kind of be interesting, but, you know, we'll see. Speedsters, uh, from what we got to see, you know, every season they're adding, they add more speedsters to the show. Last season we had a total of about five or six speedsters in the show. Now, as far as this season already that we do know, we know you're going to have Barry, then you're going to have Wally West, and then you're going to have um, Reverse Flash again, who I'm assuming Reverse Flash is going to be a uh, returning character throughout the course of the entire show. So I guess we're not going to get rid of him. Then there's this mysterious villain in the Flashpoint version, um, so as far as we know, those are four speedsters, and it's already been kind of, I don't want to say completely confirmed, so I don't want you guys, you know, take my word for it and like, oh, well, that's not what happened, but, um, so kind of, I want to say hint I guess, that Zoom is going to return again. Now, uh, from last season, we saw it, he kind of looked more like the Black Flash, the Dead Flash, so if he returns, the possibility he'll return as the Black or Dead Flash and not as, you know, he was in the show. Uh, so that's, that's about five flashes. I really want to say four because the fifth one's not complete, but that's basically five flash that we know, or flash, uh, five speedsters for this season. So um, I'm kind of curious about how many other speedsters are we going to get? You know, could we possibly get, um, you know, Bart from the future flash? Uh, you know, we don't know about um, Jesse Quick, if she's going to be, you know, if she's off the show for a bit or if she's going to return, if she's going to show up with powers. You know, these are more other things that we just don't really uh, know these things I kind of speculate and wonder about. So those are other things up to for debate. Uh, another thing is from, from what it seems like we're going to do the whole relationship with Barry and Iris. I feel like they're going to try to drag that out as long as they most possibly can. You know, it's, he's had many, got, he got close many times to you know where he got in a relationship and then he went back chain stuff and I like to call it Barry basically ran back into the friend zone because you know. He went back and, you know, used for speed, changed things, and ended up back in the friend zone with Iris. So I feel like that course, that dynamic of the show, I guess they want to play around with it as long as they can. So that might not be something that's going to happen anytime soon. So um, 
as as far as that, I think most likely they may introduce end up introduce another love interest for Barry. I kind of don't want to see that, in my opinion, because we know how the show is going to eventually go with the series, or we know how that Barry's going to end up with Iris eventually. So we kind of it's kind of just pointless, in my opinion, to see you know them introduce somebody you know in the Barry's life, and just for, just so you'll know later on that he'll they'll end up breaking up or whatever so another speculation is which there's really no evidence of this this is kind of just like a me wondering things i don't even know if I want to call it speculation but what was the return of patty spivet in season three you know she kind of last we saw her on season two she got on a train and left and that was pretty much the end the last that we heard of her or seen of her since if my memory is correct so um It'd be great to see her character return i i love her character she was uh, had a really good great vibrant uh just overall attitude and whatnot in the show with the cast and everything in my opinion so i'll love to see her character return um will she return i don't really know but that's something we'll see um i believe gorilla grog is going to return in this season uh, i think that was confirmed don't take my word on that because i'm not sure on that so i'll take my word on that but um I'm just, I'm curious about what other villains is, you know, are going to return, or not return, but what other villains, well, you actually know, I am curious about what other villains are going to return, because there was, there was some villains that we haven't even seen since season one, and a lot of them kind of, you know, curious about, all right, what happened, they, you know, it was a big group, a big group of villains that Captain Cold had released them, and uh, when they were trying to transport them, and he kind of released them, and they kind of just, you know, disappeared, and a lot of them, was the last time we even we saw or heard of most of them, now, most of them, may have been eventually between season one and season two some of them may have been caught and thrown in the pipeline or a lot of them maybe just you know still hanging around so kind of curious if we'll see the returning of those guys or uh, even double down who was uh captured in arrow but was taken to the pipeline so that's where he is i like to see if he would return and then you know, I want to see what other villains are going to uh, make an appearance in this uh, season of Flash. I think that's going to be kind of my, just wrap up my speculations right now. Um, most likely once we get to the halfway point of the series, I may do a second speculations for season three. Um, that way we can see, you know, what things I've speculated on now that were right or, you know, what other things, new things that we may speculate on or whatnot. So that'll be very interesting to see. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment uh, below what you guys thought. Also comment, what are you guys' speculations? What do you guys think is going to happen in the show and whatnot? And um, I'm, I'm really excited for this season of Flash. I think out of all of the superhero shows coming out, Flash is my highly anticipated one. Can't wait for the most. Um, so care about that i will be trying to do more super cover superhero related news uh, if you guys like the video you know make sure you share it comment your speculations and we'll see you in the next video guys peace i remember how we got here or how we survived so long i'm trying to run from the pride till you step out of my atmosphere and i remember how i spent the 23rd feeling six feet under when i'm 30,